Void OS. Now, I know some folks don't uh, like me looking at uh, OS's website before the time, but uh, in this case, I think it's really beneficial. If you were to open up and look at this website, what is the first thing you think of? Well, for me, I have absolutely no clue except some weird descriptions of brilliant new toy, rock solid, has human support, lightweight, right, trendy. These are words that mean nothing to me. And if I click on these icons at the bottom, talk about simple, swift, secure, and you have lots of apps running on web, Android, Linux on the same screen. So if you eventually patient on this, you get to download page where you can get it for PC, uh, VMware, and a customized version for certain pieces of hardware, such as Chrome Pixels, uh, Pies, and end of life devices. So I thought, hey, let me get hold of this thing so we can actually take a look and see what the heck it is. And let's move on. And here we are, Fide OS in all its glory. And what is this? This is a Chrome OS or Chromium OS based operating system. And immediately here, uh, the first thing that of course caught my eye was that by default, uh, the Chromium browser searches with Microsoft Bing right, which I thought was pretty interesting. Uh, there's a file section, which takes you, you know, it's a file manager, and a YouTube link as well. Shortcut. And of course, here you have to pin your important files, keyboard layout, your date, your time, and your additional settings, like on Chrome OS. And of course, if you want to hit this, you get all sorts of settings. And over here, it even talks about Fido OS and uh, version 17, and as you can see, uh, unlicensed edition. And of course, made possible by Chromium. So, what is this? Well, if you are not familiar with Chrome OS, Chrome OS, of course, is a customized edition that uses Gen 2 at its core. With the Linux kernel and is customized specifically for generally Chrome book laptops and of course they can get Chrome OS Flex that you can run on different uh, mainstream equipment and in the past there was a very popular different distros that were based around it and it looks like that's what Fido OS is. So looking here of course on the start side uh, what makes this very interesting is it actually has out of the box uh, Android support as well. So you can just activate the Android subsystem. So if I click on Android here, it gives me uh, an Android light system, right? In this case, it's in version nine. And of course, the idea is that you can load and run Android apps on here. Okay. Normal, uh, a lot of Chrome OS devices support that. However, if you use Chrome OS Flex, uh, that doesn't, which is basically Chrome for non uh, Chromebooks. There's even a option to set up a, a Linux environment as well, although that's not uh, supported on this device here. Right. Uh, so what I did was I tried to install the Reddit app from Android, just was the first app I saw. And it just uh, 
kind of seems to bomb, bomb itself out. So if you look here at the store, what they've gone ahead and done is they have the made by Find OS, which is a installer configure if I take a Google Apps remote desktop and OneDrive. And if I click on this, say add, say add app. OneDrive is a install, so I guess if I click here, click OneDrive, um, you can mount uh, whatever you sign up from OneDrive there. So let's close that. Uh, then they have Essentials, which seem to be more Euro links than anything else, in all honesty. So let's say we choose uh, Notion, and I say Open App, basically it just takes us to the site. And of course, if we wanted to create a shortcut, we could go more tools, create a shortcut, create, and it should uh, create it as you see over here. Right, uh, moving on, they have web apps, right? So again, web apps, is, so what makes part of essentials as well? I take in essentials as just the overview of everything. Uh, they have extensions available as well here. So let's say you block origin and we add it. And I add the extension. Give it a few seconds to download. You'll see what it's gone and done. It's actually added it to the uh, Chromium browser. Uh, themes. Uh, Pretty much as it describes different themes. I haven't really tested them out, so let's say we choose something like heck, I don't know. This thing, this one. I say add. Okay, I guess I'll have to go at some point there. Uh, Android apps, right? You check in the Android apps. These are the Android apps that's got an offer. I don't know yet how we would sideload an app, an Android app, but I'm sure there's a way. Uh, so let's say, for example, we add eBay. Right, it goes down onto the app. Uh, download speed for well, some apps seems to be faster than others. Uh, so I'll let it uh, just finish that up. Okay, so then it does done the complete and then it moves on as you can see it starts installing it automatically. And go back to the menu, click eBay. Where's that? Um guess it would work at some point. Uh, so that's of course the Android app, so I'm just gonna close that there. Close it off, and of course, here you can choose the shelf position left, bottom, or right. So basically, where the bar's position is, uh, wallpaper options. Actually, quite a lot of them come to think about it. There we go. And of course, all the magic of everything happens in the actual 
browser. So if we look at settings, I've been typical uh, Chrome OS based. Most of the stuff is all done here. Um, so for example, it's all basically within the browser, your power, your display. Uh, so you can choose your resolution, your, your mouse settings, uh, etc. All really nice and neatly done. Uh, search engine. Yeah, it's got preferred search Google, but it automatically opens up in Bing. Uh, I guess that's just uh, how they've configured it. Uh, 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 here it's actually applied to you uh, seen from earlier. I can close these up. And of course, you can right click, you can get an app info. And of course, it takes you back here and shows you the, the app. Now, one of the interesting things I want to show you is if I click sign out, it has a couple of options here. If I go add a person, okay. FIDE gives you the option to sign in using a FIDE OS account, right, uh, which is their own cloud services, or you can rather sign in with your Google account and use the Google cloud services. So essentially, if you're using the Google account, you're going to end up, uh, it's as close as if you're using Chrome OS or Chromium OS uh, out of the box. They also have the option uh, to use a browser as a guest, okay, which is generally what uh, Chrome OS does as well. And it's basically, as it says, you're browsing as a guest, nothing gets saved. Uh, and then, of course, if you just log out uh, here, uh, don't make the mistake that I didn't accidentally shut the thing down. Now that it's back up. Uh, so you can also add a local account like I did. Right. I just added a local account and that's what I've been uh, showing you. Um, and of course, you can restore apps, restore the bars to the uh, previous point. So who is this for? Well, if you want to have some of the more advanced uh, abilities of Chromium OS or Chrome OS uh, with on a normal hardware that Chrome OS Flex doesn't support, you could use this. A, um, or if you are in the find uh, ecosystem, whatever that may be, uh, you could use this as well. I uh, just bear in mind the limitations of, of running this as opposed to a normal Linux distro, but uh, there are folks out there that really love uh, the Chrome OS uh, experience, but of course it's heavily in the Google ecosystem, so bear that one in mind. But yeah, I must admit this uh, has been working pretty well and pretty fast, and pretty decent. So if you use it, uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you have anything else, let us know. As always, folks, thank you for watching and bye for now.